So as we get involved, you know, we're going to treat all these theories as if they're true and then through a process of elimination come up to the one that we can't disprove and that's the most viable theory and then we're going to try to corroborate that. So as we're looking into this, we know about all the conflict that's taken place between these crews, between Bad Boy and Death Row and Pac and Big and of course the gangs. And so we ultimately uh, want to corner this guy because we knew that he was a, he's a known gang member from Compton. We know he was in Las Vegas at the time of Tupac's shooting, and we know that he was at the Peterson Auto Museum the night that Biggie was killed. So he's a person of extreme interest. Up to this point in time, he'd been interviewed and says he doesn't really know anything, and you know, kind of gives a, you know, throws a bunch of curveballs at us. So we know that he's not going to sit down and just be transparent and open with us after all these years. We develop a uh, an airtight drug case against him because you know, we're aware of the fact that he's got a known history of dealing drugs and uh, pr particularly to this guy in New York and we put an ironclad case against him, approach him and say here's the deal KPD, we have questions about these murders if you don't cooperate you're going to prison for the rest of your life and so are several members of your family who are caught up in your drug organization. He confesses to his involvement in the murder of Tupac Shakur in Las Vegas in 1996. He tells us that his nephew, Orlando Anderson, was in the same car with him, which was the white Cadillac. Mm -hmm. And they had gotten into the fight, obviously, between Tupac and Orlando. And now they're going to go and retaliate at the club where they know that Tupac and Sugar are going to be. And they go over to the club and hunt of, uh, in, to hunt down Tupac. and. Uh, Prior to that, they meet with this guy in Las Vegas who happens to be Biggie Small's godfather. He's a close friend of Puffy. He's out in Las Vegas. He's aware of all this conflict going on. He's aware of the shooting of Tupac. And so he gives him a gun in Las Vegas. And then they set out, along with another guy named Corey Edwards and five or six other members of the Southside Crips, and they go on the hunt for Tupac and, and Suge Knight. Ultimately, they run into him on the strip, just off the strip, actually and at the intersection of Flamingo and Koval, the Cadillac pulls up, he gives him the gun, he leans out and shoots and ultimately kills Tupac Shakur. And in the car, he is sitting in the front passenger, Terrence uh, Brown, T. Brown is uh, the, the driver, he had, I think his mother-in-law rented the car, mm -hmm. the Cadillac, and Correct. apparently Kifidi, every time he would go out, he would always rent a car. Mm -hmm. And then in the back is Orlando right behind the uh, Kifidi, and then DeAndre sitting on this side. He first gives the gun to DeAndre because the car is on this side. DeAndre says no. Mm -hmm. Then he, uh, Orlando says, give it to me. He turns around and he shoots, gets him. So that, like that's pretty much the event that takes place. And so a lot of it was the attention because the girls were hollering, hey, Tupac, mm -hmm. hey, Shook, and yeah. they figured out they're them. They made a U-turn to go get him, right? That's okay. right. Yep.